Look out! Oh, what's next? All right, so we found Bay. Bay Lena. Nah, that don't work. That's horrible. I don't ask for this trouble. I want to see what she can do, though. You know, in the last episode, we were just talking about. Let me get a grenade over here. Why am I wasting bullets? And what is this guy shooting at? Did he just leave his cover to shoot at our cover? Like, directly at our cover? And there goes another quarterback guard. Oh, and he actually got me that time, too. All right, I got to return the favor. Nah, that's a waste of a grenade. We can we can take this guy. There you go. Pretty good shot for a journalist. I've had some practice. Just keep moving. Oh, yeah, that's what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. I want the competition. <laughs> I didn't realize they ever broke up. And they're all just standing here. I thought I thought a cutscene was about to trigger. No cutscene. Oh, okay. Help me with the story. On three. One, two, three. That's it. Thanks. Great. How are we gonna get across? There's a ladder on the far side. Maybe we should swim across. Current's too strong. We'll never make it. So now I'm playing hero for a whole group. I told you in Uncharted, Drake is the only person who knows how to cross obstacles. Now, look at this. Now we're sitting here with Elena and Chloe. Both of them are helpless, so it's gonna have to be me. Drake to the rescue as usual. Oh, no, Chloe's coming. But yeah, I was talking about in the last episode, I wanted to know. How did we end up with Elena? And I was wondering, like, who was more helpful? Go on, boost you up. And now we get to see it, live action. And these are both exes. But Chloe and Drake actually have a little something going on. So it's going to be interesting because last episode, Drake was hitting on Chloe about two episodes ago. And I wonder if that's going to continue. Because I remember, yeah, at the end of Uncharted 1, didn't, didn't Drake and Elena, didn't they sail into the sunset and they were happy? And I don't know what's happened since then, but... And all right, this has to do with the propane... And I actually see a trophy down there too, so hopefully I can get that at some point. And I don't want to waste any of my West bullets. And they left a gun up there for me just in case I didn't want to waste any of my bullets, so. L1, throw this down there. Oh, they wanted me to shoot it in midair. Yeah, let me drop my West real quick. Drop the West. We need to make those shots count. Alright, here we go. Bang. We gotta get creative. Should we make the other one unstick? Oh, there's already propane tanks down there. There we go. So now we've created a... <gasps> we've rigged up a, uh, a way to cross the river. Oh, and I left my west. Oh, no, 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 no. I will not be doing that. Alright, great. My West was still up there. So far, I think I've missed... I lost count, honestly, between editing these episodes. What in the hell with these controls? Wow. Yeah, between editing these episodes, I've gotten confused. Because on one, I know I had five missed West shots. Then I might have missed some more. Somebody pointed out... I got on Sully for trying to snipe with the West, and then I tried it. Another cutscene. Okay. Oh, what? What? Did were they all just standing here in plain sight, and he only shot at me? Why am I the target? Do I have any grenades? I have no grenades, but I got wet shots. There goes one. I'm not missing any. Got to make them all count. There goes the shotgun, and now we just need a grenade. Or you know what? There's a propane tank. Oh, and he's throwing a grenade. Who even threw that grenade? Is there another guy? It's all good though. I am the man with the plan. No, I'm not. That was a horrible plan, and that was our only propane tank. That was a mistake. Why did I shoot it so early? Alright, plan B. What's the alternative plan here? Oh, there's two guys back there. Let me get him with the head. Oh, there's three! 
I got him. And there's more. They just keep coming out of nowhere. Okay, but I'm close. I'm good. I'm good. See, I see two guys right here. What is what is he doing? He's just posted up. All right, cool. I'm going to have to sneak him. I'm sneaking him. I'm sneaking him. Come here. These hands are buy one. Get one free. Oh, I didn't use hands that time. That was not the time to use that catchphrase. <laughs> I had that one saved in my back pocket and it was not the right time. And oh goodness, they've been ambushed. They've been ambushed. Chew on it. Oh he oh, oh, that's a shotgun guy. I need my West. I've got no more West bullets. Oh no. Gonna have to rely on the grenade. There we go. Ah, there we go. That's a Okay, we're all clear. Is it always like this with him? Pretty, Pretty much. much. Hey, yo, who is this guy? He hasn't contributed anything since we got here. He's complained a little. He's been confused. He seems scared. This guy ain't Sully. He's not Harry. Who, who is this guy? We got him backing up. He's scary. All right, so there's a pole here, so that means I'll be climbing. I don't even know what I'm looking for next, but I know I'm climbing. <laughs> Hopefully they follow suit. See anything up there? Come on, this way. I don't know if that camera guy is gonna make it up here. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy that can change a tire. All right, so we're about to walk a tightrope. Something like a tightrope, and this seems like the type of place. Yep. We have to hurry. It's a good thing that tank didn't see us. I don't know if it could maneuver. I don't know if it could maneuver the barrel this far. But I knew that was the type of place that a cutscene triggers. That's exactly the type of place where you get caught in a tight spot. Wow. I thought I was supposed to jump for that. Okay, apparently not. Abusing the climbing rules. But yeah, we haven't seen a tank yet. We had the Dwight Copter last episode. Or how many ever episodes ago that was, I'm not even sure. I'm losing track. The story's running together. So depending on how that tank shoots, depending on the accuracy, we're gonna have to name it. We're gonna have to have another name for all the for all the artillery in this game. I don't know if it's accurate. Maybe we'll give it a, give it like a curry nickname. All right. A splash brother. <laughs> should be safe in here. Maybe that tank is gonna be the third or fourth splash brother. Oh, oh. I came up empty handed. Normally they don't just have rooms like that with nothing in them. Oh well, I'm not wasting any more time looking for them. We're trying to get through this. How about that, huh? You brought us right to the doorstep. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's not a coincidence that we ended up here? Uh, no, not exactly. <laughs> God, you're an ass. Okay, just what is it you're after anyway? See that symbol up there? It's called the Chintamani Stone. Nate? It's a massive raw sapphire. It's worth millions. So let me get this straight. You're competing with a psychopathic war criminal for a mythological gemstone? When you put it that way, it does sound pretty stupid. Yeah, thanks for the input, Jeff. And it's supposedly in this temple. Uh, well, no. It, stone itself isn't here. Hey, look at that. No? Uh, no, it's in Shambhala. Shambhala? Nate? Yeah, you know, Shangri-La. Can I have a word with you, darling? On second thought, perhaps we should continue this conversation inside. Good idea. Come on. All right, we should be saving here for now. This just doesn't add up, Nate. Lazarevich can't be after the money. He doesn't need it. You're missing something. Come on. We haven't got all day. You two stay here. Right. Promise me you'll stay put. We'll be right back. Famous last words. <laughs> oh. Well, that's more like it. You don't think they're a couple, do you? You're not a couple. Uh. So Elena's coming along. She's showing she's showing her smarts, I see. 
Because nobody's brought up the fact that Lazarevich doesn't need the money. And she picked up on that right away. Elena was like, the guy's rich already. What are you missing? And I finally found a treasure. It's about time. That's the first treasure in many, many episodes. But yeah, Chloe broke all that up. She didn't. <laughs> she's not interested in. Uh, she's not interested in aiding our relationship, rekindling the flame. And that guy Jeff. That guy Jeff had something to say during that cutscene. He's just a cameraman, but he had some input. I don't think Drake liked that. It's alright though, I'm sure he'll be out of the picture soon. We left them alone too. This is definitely the right temple. Well that looks like the Chintamani's done alright. There must be a hidden entrance here somewhere. Wait, I've seen this guy before. It's something to do with the arms. Yep, I remember this puzzle. It's really not that complicated either. Chloe just walked through my book. Sensational. I gotta get up there. But how? You climb, Drake. Climbing is always the answer. This isn't Okay, so we're not climbing that. This isn't gonna be that difficult. This is one of these one of Uncharted's many puzzles. I think this is the first real puzzle we've gotten throughout the game. There we go. Right up this way. Hang on, I'm gonna get a closer look at this thing. Sure. I'll just wait down here. Of course you will, Chloe. Because the thing I found out about her is, unless it's combat. Okay. All right. Unless it's combat, she's really not all that useful. She'll save a life, but. Nice one. Thank you. She couldn't figure out the door earlier. If you can't figure out the door, you're definitely not about to be helped with this puzzle. Okay, there we go. I don't know what else I expected. I don't know what else I just expected there. And Chloe says I'm lucky. That's not luck. That's skill. All right, hey, come on, admit it. You're impressed. I am. I'll throw you a banana. <laughs> Oh, we might be a hater. We might have a hater on our hands. You all right? I'm okay. So I know that's not all it took. But we should be a little bit closer now. Let's see. So the only thing I can really see is that that left arm needs to come down. How exactly? Oh, I'm exhausted just looking at you. All right, this should do it. This should do the trick. Now we insert the key. Wait a minute. What is it? Chloe, this isn't just a dagger. It's a key. Hmm. Well, let's find out what it opens. Hey, let's do that. She was able to deduce that much. <sighs> Pretty creepy, but say ah. Uh. There. Did do anything? The water's going down. And I found the door it opened. We've done it. Well, technically, I did it. Be right there. Exactly. Let her know. I did it. You just stood around and watched. 
It's like I said, there was no shooting going on, so you weren't helpful. It's alright though, she's bad, so she gets a pass. What do you think? You game? Ladies first. If you say so. <sighs> Thank God I'm not claustrophobic. You know, this puzzle just reminded me. That whole puzzle we just did and draining the water. Huh. You know, it's actually kind of romantic down here. All right. There's the chocolates and flowers. <sighs> you never were a chocolate and flower kind of girl. Oh, you know me so well. <laughs> She's kind of thirsty. We don't have time for that down here. What I was saying, though, is with the water and the whole puzzle, I always wondered in these games, who designed all of this? Oh, oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I thought those might be spikes. You never know down here. Never know. Yeah, who? I always wondered that in Uncharted games, when we do these elaborate puzzles and it's all just made out of stone. Like, who did all of this? Who was the architect thousands of years ago that was able to put all this stuff together? With no technology. I suppose it's possible though when you think about pyramids, right? You're not gonna get us trapped in a small dark space 30 meters underground, are you? Probably. It's a little bit of a drop. Alright, I'm coming. Little drop. Yeah, maybe I underestimated. We still don't have a clue how the pyramids were actually built. When you look at like the, the math behind all of that, the amount of stones and how heavy they were, but somehow they were built. Was it aliens? I think it was aliens. So by that same logic, these uncharted puzzles, they had to be done by aliens. How else would they have been done? Who would have been able to put this what stuff together? This? Looks like some kind of tree. And what's that got to do with the Chintamani stone? You got me. Hmm. I've just cracked the Uncharted Matrix once again. A couple of episodes ago, we were talking about the meanings. How when you're climbing signs, it's just showing you that life. It's opening up down here. Okay. That life always gives you a sign. The next thing is aliens. You can't make that? Drake, you can't make that. Are you... Wow, I told y'all this was going to happen. I told y'all there was going to... Wow, so I need a ledge. Is that what you're saying? I have to get up on a ledge. I can't even get up on that ledge? So Chloe must put... And there's no triangle button coming up. I told you that was going to happen. There was going to come a time where for no reason at all... Why did, see, that's unnecessary. Why did I need to do that? He could have easily kicked off that wall. Ah, eh, whatever. That right there reminds me of the Last of Us jump that Joel couldn't make. He had to go get like a giant wooden wooden board, and you had to put. It was like one of the one of the earlier levels in that game. <laughs> Be worse, right? Oh, yeah, worse. okay. Luckily, yeah, really luckily, spikes. I hate spikes. <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. Sorry, my life is still flashing before me. Luckily for you, you weren't stuck down here with Jeff. <laughs> Jeff wouldn't have had a clue. And these, I believe they were at the end of Uncharted 1, actually. Hmm. Right, come on, follow me. So there definitely has to be something waiting for us, because they wouldn't have gave us that new gun. Oh, I'm hungry. Hey, that 
thing looks familiar. Yeah, it looks like the Perva Dagger. Uh-huh. These lights must activate it somehow. <laughs> 